The son of a woman allegedly killed by her alcoholic partner has told a court how he sent him to check on the dead body of his mother. Jordan McKenna, who was 14 at the time, told Lewis Crown Court that on March 26, 2006 he tried to wake Caroline Devlin, 35, who was cold and had turned blue. He said Robert Trigg remained seated on the stairs of their Worthing home. Mr. Trigg, 52, denies the manslaughter of Ms. Devlin, and the murder of Susan Nicholson, 52, in 2011. Mr. McKenna said Mr. Trigg left him to get a neighbor to phone the emergency services. Live, more news from Sussex. The jury also heard that Ms. Nicholson, a mother of two, had been living with Mr. Trigg in her flat in Rollins Road, Worthing, West Sussex, for two months before her death on April 17, 2011. Her neighbor, Hannah Cooper, described their relationship as volatile and violent and said they regularly drank to excess, sometimes up to four times a week. Ms. Cooper said on the night that she died Ms. Nicholson has been so drunk Mr. Trigg had to help her walk to the shops to buy more vodka. She told the court that he had phoned her on the morning of April 17 and told her that he thought Ms. Nicholson was dead. She asked him how he thought she had died and he replied, she suffocated. Ms. Cooper said she phoned an ambulance as Mr. Trigg had not done so. The trial continues.